never done anything like that ever in my life. Northwest Guilford's Christian Hampton shattered the backboard during a game, but it didn't happen at his school. Let me try to center it. It was Grimsley's backboard. My immediate reaction was, is he okay? Because when something like that happened, I was just scared and concerned for the kid. And then my next reaction was, where are we going to finish this game? The Vikings and Whirlies finished the game the next day at Dudley High School. We still won the game. That was the most important thing for us. But Coach Darren Corbett says it's been tough for his team to go on without a key piece of equipment. Let's see where we're at now. It's been inconvenient, to tell you the truth. The Whirlies are 9-1 and one at home this season, entering the playoffs. We had to practice on half a court on Monday, and then, you know, Tuesday we played over at UNCG, and that took sort of the home court advantage away from us that we had earned. The kids are resilient, you know, so they've been able to adjust to it. Luckily for Grimsley, the backboard was under warranty, but athletic director Ethan Albright says it costs his school money to play at other facilities. You can buy a backboard, though, but you can't buy home court advantage, and that's something the Whirlies finally get to feel again, just in time for the biggest game of the season. We need it. I mean, we haven't gone full court in our own gym in at least 10 days. There it is. In Greensboro, Amanda Ferguson, WFMY News 2 Sports.